Want to study in the UK? Choosing your A-levels is an extremely important part of the admissions process, with each A-level having its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Not sure what A-levels you should take? Don't worry, you're in the right place to find out. My name is Aryan and here's my guide to A-level subject selection. There are three main things that you should keep in mind when selecting your A-levels. The first of these is passion. Make sure to choose subjects that you're genuinely interested in. You'll be likely to actually enjoy studying them, meaning that you'll end up performing better when you actually give the exam. Second is balance. Make sure to keep a healthy balance of subjects that fall in the science, commerce, and humanities fields in order to better display your intellectual vitality to admissions officers. Third, and arguably most importantly, your future goals. Try to think about what you want to study at university. It's important for your A-levels to be aligned with your career goals, as universities will typically look for students who have experience and who have taken A-level subjects that are relevant to their intended field of study. So, now that we've established that that's important, what A-levels should you do for each different field of study or major? Well, there's so many majors and field of studies that I can't really cover all of them in one video, but let's quickly go through a few of the more common ones. First up, medicine and dentistry. This is an extremely competitive program to get into. Most universities will require you to do biology, chemistry, and maths, and some may also additionally require you to have done physics. For example, Oxford and Cambridge will require you to have taken chemistry along with either maths, further maths, biology, or physics, and will also require you to have gotten at least one A star and two A's on your A-levels. Want to study law? Most universities prefer subjects like history, English literature, maths, economics, or psychology. For instance, the London School of Economics looks for applicants who have a strong background in mathematics and economics, and also prefer students who have done a broad mix of traditional academic subjects. Top engineering universities like Imperial College London or UCL require you to have taken maths and physics, and further maths is highly valued. In general, if your school offers further maths and you think that you can do it, it's highly recommended that you take it. Alongside maths and physics, you can also take chemistry, computer science, or well, just a completely unrelated subject to show your varied academic interests. If you're a computer science student, most higher tier universities like Cambridge, Oxford, or UCL will require you to have gotten two A stars and one A. So make sure that you take three, preferably four A levels. Mathematics is a required subject for almost all computer science programs. And if your school offers further mathematics, it's highly recommended that you should take it. Besides mathematics, you should take at least one out of computer science, physics, or chemistry. Among students who wish to study business or economics, business studies, economics, and math are popular subject choices. Universities like Warwick or the London School of Economics prefer applicants with a strong maths and economics background. For humanities students, such as intended English majors, other language majors, or just any other humanities major, there's a lot more flexibility in what A-levels you can take. However, subjects like history, English literature, and languages, whether that be English or some other foreign language, are often preferred. For example, Oxford and Cambridge usually look for specific subject combinations for their humanities programs, and you can view these on their websites. Well, those are most of the common majors out of the way. Regardless of what major you're planning to do, make sure to check the websites of the universities that you're planning to apply to since they may have specific subject requirements or preferences. And it's important to keep all of these in mind when you make your A-level subject choices. And most importantly, pick subjects that you enjoy. And if you found any of the advice that I gave you in this video helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload. And if you have any questions or want me to rate your subject choices, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer as many of y'all's questions as possible. Anyways, that's all for today. I'm out and thank you very much for watching.